Hi, welcome to the Omix ADA Jeep Collection Tour. Uh, we're getting to drive a number of different vintage Jeeps today. This one is called the Surrey, and we'll try to roll, we'll roll in a picture of what it looks like on the outside. But the story behind this is these were resort vehicles that Conrad Hilton uh, commissioned. They came in a few different colors. This one's a little more rare, it's sort of the uh, blue and white. And uh, we're gonna take it for a drive, and see what it's like. Should be, uh, you know, pretty standard Jeepish, but we'll see. All right. This one has the uh, unique thing of three on the tree, and it's been literally 30 years since I've driven a three on the tree, so this should be fun. Clutch grab's rather high, like knees up and my chin kind of high. So, this one sits low. A little play in the steering wheel. Fabric top, you know, this is, this is cool. I like this. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do three on the tree. Yeah, second gear. Alright. Alright. Alright, now this is a beach cruiser. I like this. This definitely would work well in resorts. Um, you know, if you're throwing a person in the back or something and their luggage taking them to their cabana or wherever the house they're staying at. Yeah. Nice! Very cool! This is the lightest thing we've pretty much driven, and uh, it feels it. None of these things have a lot of horsepower, maybe 50, 60 horsepower, but, you know, we're doing 30, 35-ish. I don't know the needle's kind of doing this, which is seems right for an old vehicle. Alright, the ride is not smooth, but it's not anything you'd expect to have it be either. I like this. I mean, this feels, this drives and feels exactly like you think an old Jeep should ride and drive and feel like. It's about as basic as you can get. I like the fact that everything's manual in here, that you have to work for everything. You feel like you could almost hustle this a little bit. But with the short wheelbase, I don't know that you want to, unless you really know what you're doing. But man, this is good. I like this one. You know, we drove the forward control Jeep, and it's kind of our favorite just because it's an experience. I mean, it's just an experience. But of the ones we've driven so far, and we have a few more to drive, I like this one the best. It seems goofy, because it's like, I don't want to say it's the least Jeepy Jeep of all the ones we'll probably drive. But it feels the most normal. I like this thing. I think they only I think they said in the uh, in the briefing that they're only like a thousand or eleven hundred of these things ever made. They're pretty rare. And if you look up the side here, you'll see the uh, forward control Jeep going that way. Maybe, maybe you caught that. Maybe you didn't. Anyways, um, so yeah, eleven hundred of these things ever made. So it's not like, well, I'm sure you can find one if you really want one. What you'd have to pay for it, I have no idea what you'd have to pay for it, but pay it. Go for a ride. This is good. See you again next time.